As someone who grew up in the 80s and 90s, I, I put a lot of value on physical media. Books, movies, video games. But as I've gotten older, I, I think I, I've kind of embraced some things a little bit. Music especially. Like, I don't go out and buy discs anymore. I don't buy vinyl. You know, I'll listen to music on a streaming service, Amazon Music or something, or off of my Zune with my whole library of music that I ripped years ago, uh, you know, and then to a, a lesser extent, maybe movies. I still buy movies, um, like certain things, Criterion Collection stuff, stuff through Arrow, just because it's harder to find and it's movies that I really like. And I don't want to, like, if there's a movie where it's like, hey, I'm holding on to uh, HBO Max or Max, whatever the hell they call it. If I'm holding on to that subscription paying, what is it, like $15, $20 a month? Uh, if I'm paying that and I'm holding on to that subscription for just a handful of movies that I want to watch, so I don't really care about too much in the way of shows on there, I may as well just buy the movie physically, right? But this is the kind of thing that makes me really hate having to embrace digital. There's been times where, like, my Steam account, Epic account, I haven't logged in in ages, not recently, but in the past. And when I saw this earlier today popping up, that Ubisoft closes your account if you haven't logged in for some time. You will lose all your games purchased forever. And Ubisoft, they, they, they replied to this. This should be illegal, first off. And this is what, there should be consumer protections. This is, this is what I got to say with this. There should be consumer protections across the globe as far as digital content goes. Because this annoys the crap out of me. And there's a few reasons why. Inactivity. Oh, you don't want your account anymore. You spent money with us. Uh, we're going to close your shit. You ain't, you ain't getting access anymore. But we'll give you a heads up. Who knows? Maybe this goes into your spam folder. Maybe you just overlook it. And then that month... Because they, they send this email. I don't know how long the inactivity has to be. But they send this notice to you. Then you got 30 days. After that 30 days, your, your stuff is gone. That's ridiculous and wrong. Like, they should send, like, courier pigeon or something... They need to serve you with legal documents in order to do this kind of thing. I hate that. That makes no sense to me. Lose your freaking account because maybe you had something going on in your life. Maybe you went on a business trip and you weren't accessing stuff. Maybe you went on a vacation. Maybe you had to go visit family. Maybe just something going on in your life where you just like, I got to put all this stuff on the back burner. I got to do other things. Can't play games. But then later on, you want to come back and you find out, oh, Ubisoft closed my account. To no longer play, uh, you know, what games do they, they have? I can't even remember, damn it. <laughs> uh, but like Assassin's Creed, you know, stuff like that. Like, that's ridiculous. There should be consumer protections, right? And th the other part of this that annoys me too is like, say, for example, like Amazon or any of these places that host movies and, and digital assets that you could purchase. Guess what? You're not, you don't own them. You don't own anything. You're purchasing a license. And guess what? If they deem that you went on Twitter and said something stupid that they didn't like or, you know, whatever, or uh, maybe you returned a couple too many items through Amazon, they close your account and then you lose everything because it was just a license. It wasn't a purchase. You don't own shit. You don't own it and you'll like it. That's just the way it goes. But, yeah, so the, these guys here, this anti-DRM, uh, you know, <laughs> account here on Twitter posted this earlier. I'm not sure where this originated from, but we know it's this email comes from Ubisoft. We noticed that you've not been using your account associated with whatever this email was. We've temporarily suspended your inactive Ubisoft account and we'll be closing it permanently in 30 days in accordance with our terms of use. If you wish to keep your account, you can cancel its closure by clicking the link, the little button below, right? So they brought this up and then Ubisoft here they got to chime in. I, I thought it was funny. They just, hey, clown, freaking clown, clown emoji. I think that emoji gets overused, but uh, it, it, it seems relevant here, okay? It seems very relevant here. So Ubisoft replies, hey there, we just wanted to chime in that you can avoid the account closure by logging into your account within the 30 days since receiving the email pictured and selecting the cancel account closure link contained in the email. Certainly do not want you to lose access to your games or account. So if you have any difficulties here, do this. That is so freaking ridiculous, man. Like I said earlier, there could be so many reasons that you missed this email. I just replied to an email from a, from a company 
that I didn't even notice they emailed me. It just kind of flew under the radar. It was kind of a, a business thing, not even that major, but I was like, wait, did these people ever reach out to me? And it was like back in April, months ago. So you could easily, like anybody could easily miss something. You know what I mean? It just gets thrown in the mix or goes into your spam folder or whatever, right? So, <laughs> so this, is, this is ridiculous. Lose your account, lose your access, lose your games. Because you don't own anything. You don't own anything. That's the one toughest thing for me with digital is realizing we have like Apple TV, right? And I, I like the presentation of Apple. I don't own any other Apple products, like no Apple computers. I don't have an iPhone, but we have an Apple TV because I just, it, it supported all the features I wanted, you know, Dolby Atmos, you know, all that good stuff um, with audio and visuals. And then in the Apple store through that, you know, if you buy a movie, the presentation of that and the support for it's just great. But then I, I struggle with that. I'm like, should I just wait for the uh, disc to release and pay, you know, the twenty thirty dollars for a four K movie, or just buy it digitally and have access to it? Well, you're not buying anything. I have to remind myself some things. It's like you know what, just do it, you know. But it's kind of ridiculous too. Like, oh, you could rent this movie for twenty dollars and watch it for a day or two, or you could buy it for twenty five dollars. Man. I'll just pay the extra $5. So I, str I struggle with that. I'm not, I, I struggle with that, man. I really do as far as buying physical versus digital with some things. Sometimes, and I get it, the convenience factor, man. I don't have to wait for the movie to come out physically. I don't have to go to the store. I don't have to order. I could just, boom, click a thing, type in my password, whatever, pin, have instant access. Not host it on your machine because you don't own it. It's just being streamed to you, right? Ugh, I, I struggle. I struggle, man. But they they've got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, replies here. I always I find it funny this Tommy Ch uh, Tommy Chong freaking advertisements are everywhere. Chicha Chong's Ch cruise twos. Those things are plaguing Twitter. That's the only reason Twitter's surviving the ad revenue from the, uh, the Chicha Chong edibles. I guess the hell this person uh, being a French company, you should know that this is totally illegal in France, right? In France, digital purchases are final and considered the same as physical purchases. Is that true in France? That should be true everywhere. That is, that should be true across the board, but it, it, it should be like you, I get it. Like you don't own the, the IP, you don't own the copyright, but you own the right to enjoy this. You should never lose that. That should never be revoked. There should never be a loophole. There should be never anything where Apple can close your account, Amazon can close your account, uh, Ubisoft can close your account, and you lose access. That should never be the case. Never. And if it is, refund everything. You, you, that needs to be the law. It's just ridiculous. If you have to close your service down because you can't support it or you're filing bankruptcy, you need to refund everybody. But beside that, there should be no reason, man. There should be no reason. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is this is annoying. Seeing stuff like this just really, it, it bothers me, man. Adam Kalser here. If someone goes traveling for 30 plus days after being a gamer their whole life and have countless Ubisoft games that they paid for, they come home to log in and every game they spent their money on is gone? What? Serial toast. Logging in to revert the cancel process after receiving the, the email warning uh, is about to be activated. Account needs to have been inactive for much longer than that. Before I played Rainbow Six Siege regularly, I pretty much only logged into my account whenever new Assassin's Creed came out. Not once did I ever face possible account deletion. Okay, I don't know if they're defending the practice or just, like, maybe they're just stating their experience, but... Oh, yeah, like, this, it, does, it doesn't matter how long it's been inactive. Screw that noise. Money's involved. Personal information's involved. No. Let me know what you guys think. This is just something I, I had to bring up. Screw Ubisoft with this noise, man. I don't even, do I have an Ubisoft account? I think I do. Holy crap. I probably have been deleted long ago, assholes. <laughs> Bye.